Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the placements. Welcome to, I think, what is game seven? Yeah, it is, because we're three wins, three losses. We're in diamond four at the moment. Obviously, it won't reflect it here because we're still in placements. Most people in this game, apart from one, as you can see, the Vladimir is diamond four as well. So most people will be in placements where everyone else is in placements. It's not the same Pike as last game, unfortunately. That would have been nice because he was very bad. All right, let us hopefully get a win. Comps wise, both comps are strong. Personally, not a massive fan of Nami, but still. My professor doesn't have ads. Yeah, it does. What? Again, someone's trying to catch me out for not having ad block. Sorry, I'm just going to put this person in this place. There's an ad. Oh my God, because I don't use ad block. <sighs> It was trying to get my flash out of that, but I knew the whole the longer the pike holds his Q, the slower movement speed he is. So if I just run in a straight line, I'll be fine. Mako, three months of Prime. Thank you so much, dude. This is another month. Hopefully it'll be I hope it'll help you, Huz. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I am neither the first nor the So my goal is to stop a Vladimir free farming. Which is never the most easy thing to do. I... Do not tend the blizzard. What? Playing a little bit too aggro. Is there much point to trade with the Vlad? I understand that, obviously, because he's technically got regen, but yes, because I can know I can kill him. And his regen isn't like, well, it's good, but it's not like the most insane thing in the world. Not in the early game. I'm dead. Cocoon! Oh, I lived! Let's go. That was a good play. Got first blood and survived. Wukong flash. Oh, that's nice. Have to play aggro against a Vlad. That was clutch that Elise came. If I died there and she didn't like flash cocoon, I would have been sad. But yeah. Uh, yeah, at least got a dark harvest stack too. Nice. Ooh. I'm just going to be careful now being ganked now that I don't have flash. Thanks, Ashes. Good luck on your placements. Good luck. Good luck. Again, I've always said my goal for placements is usually just five wins, five losses. Oh, no, not another losing bot lane. I swear, like, nearly every game our bot lane's been getting wrecked. Hey, Ricky. Perfect timing. He's just waiting in a bush for a gank. Okay. Six. Okay. Okay. Cool. This Vladimir might not be very good, so he's going to be asking for a lot of jungle help. That's annoying.
I could make like bring out a champion as if what make a champion what would it be probably a mage Yeah, he's very focused on mid. But to be fair, that gank as well is going to be an him being annoyed that he didn't kill me the first time. The Lord awakens. So. Yep. And the fact that my bot lane's already been died 2v2 bot lane is really bad. Or he shouldn't play at the game one handed most of the time, but we're just right clicking at the moment. I wonder if Trindamir and Master E players played one handed a lot. Probably. Life passes so swiftly. Oh man, I thought I was about to hit level 6. I was one minion out. That's why I went weirdly aggressive with that wall. Wukong's a bit here again. Maybe they're duo, but it just hasn't recognized it. <laughs> he just used ghosts for no reason. <laughs> Let's go. I was going to go back because I know Monkey's probably going to come here if I overstay. Oh, look, he's in our jungle. The problem that we've got, by the way, is Elise is an early game jungler and she's not doing so hot in the early game. Monkey, monkey, monkey. You knew Wukong was there. Why did you continue going so aggro when you knew Wukong? You should have just run to tower and she would have lived. Been playing Anivia all my placements? No, this is game seven and this is my second game of Anivia. So I think Anivia is a good pick for low ELO. Anivia, like a lot of champions, is more dependent on how good you are with Anivia than anything else. So if you're good with Anivia, then yeah. Presumably they're doing dragon. <laughs> yeah, she's getting wrecked. Um, Pike could be here. Hit box. He went. Okay, please kill him at least. Okay, thank God. Oof. I was like, kill the Vlad. <laughs> Vlad would be my prio because it's stopping a Vlad free farm by killing him. Thank you. Yeah, we're just outplaying this Vladimir completely. What is his damage? What? I thought he got nerfed. Did he not get nerfed? Jesus. Did not expect that amount of damage. My bad. I had a lot. Of, I had like 2k gold on me, I guess. So. Might be that. Oh, my. 
Why would you flash? Oh my god, just accept the death when you get caught like that. What is going on? Nami's played one game of Nami and she went 0 10. Hmm. Okay. Yes. I was actually literally about to say I hope Trindamir starts doing some things. Okay. So forgiving. Oh, this is annoying me now. He's going to be back to full health in about three seconds. I need to calm down. I'm getting annoyed and I can feel it. I can feel it. Because mm. again, I can tell this Vladimir is not very good, but Vlad is quite a forgiving champion. So we got to play well. Oh, I went a moment too late. I was trying to keep my ultimate up. Damn. The hell was that cocoon? Was it just showing that I'm here? It might have just been like a, hey, I'm around, don't go for a play. Might have been that. That was a bit peculiar. Freebie one. They're just focusing me now. that's done bad early is useless damn that positioning caitlin oh god Nearly got my mythic. The only thing with it, if you get delayed quite a lot for your mythic, because you want what? Because you want um tier and oh what? Hmm. Jesus Christ! They're so fed because our bot lane is just awful. This is really irritating me because these players do not feel like anything other than like, I don't know, gold players or something. I mean, they're supposed to be like X master players. Crazy. Just like the feeding. I'd be fine with them not playing great. I just really don't want them to feed in the early game. That's what makes the game really hard. Irritating. She was already five kills. Oh, stressful. He's mid lane again. Just being camped the entire game. Uh, hmm. 
And Vlad's back may need to full health, because of course he is. So forgiving, as I've said. Don't even know if we can properly fight this. I don't want to use my ult. Erect. Oh, blood, it's so easy. It's so annoying. Wait, Caitlyn went bot lane. She went bot lane after dragon instead of coming to fight in mid. Oh my god, you can't make up how bad these players are. Oh my god. Did she actually go bot lane after dragon? Damn. Seven months of primes from GA underrated. So in my journey as a Yumi OTP, I discovered I'm better with Morgana. Rip. <laughs> this Caitlyn. You literally are trolling. I'm trying to carry these players, but they're just too heavy. I've been camped the entire game, but I'm still doing pretty well while I've been camped. It's insane. Uh, how placement's going? We're currently three wins, three losses. We're diamond for... Can't remember what LP. 30-something, maybe LP. Yeah, we lost the Shen game. The Ziggs and the Pike were just really bad. Again, you just have to accept it's early season stuff and you're just going to have a lot of players that don't... Uh, don't know what they're doing. It sucks, but it's just the new... New early season... Well, not new. It's always the same every single early season. It's just the way League is. Just the way League is. A thousand lives will I give for the Frail Lord. How do we win this game? The Wukong is strong. Camille's strong, she just hasn't got a crazy KDA. Vlad's strong and he's scaling. Ice is really strong. TLDR mostly, they're all strong. Yeah, I'm hoping Trindamir will kind of go crazy a bit. Obviously, he's technically what I would deem a late game monster. I watch The Apprentice. I actually was going to watch this season, but I haven't started watching it yet. I like that The Apprentice. Again, we're not talking Trumpy Trump. Alan Sugar does it here in the UK. Um, with um, what's it? 
I liked it kind of like 10 years ago, but it became a little bit too stupid that they actively got contestants on that weren't very good for entertainment. So I don't know. I might watch it as it started properly now because and like, is it silly or is it good? You can recommend it to me if it's good. Sucks that we outplayed this Vlad so much in the early game, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh. Cocoon. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. She shouldn't have committed for the all-in. Oh, dude, you're just trolling at this point. That death like could easily be barren, you know? What just happened? I don't even know what just happened. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, was it Pike Q? Ah, uh, okay. That makes more sense now. Yeah, it was. Oh, that did 400 damage, bro. That's a lot. Our playments were going uh, with 3-3, probably about to be 3-4. And uh, yeah, the games are quite frustrating overall. Placement games usually are frustrating because in essence what they're doing is a soft MMR reset. But it puts basically a lot of players together that really shouldn't be together. Like I know from the outside people might look, oh, how's your 5-7-3? You haven't played that that well this game. Again, obviously, if you've been watching the game and paying attention, we've been actually playing pretty well. We got several solo kills on Vlad in the early game, had very, very high pressure, but we've been camped like crazy this game by mainly the Wukong and a bit of the Pike. So I can't really do that much. And then Vladimir is one of League's easiest champions, so he can just free scale and do what he wants. Which is a bit frustrating when you know you've been playing better than him. But... That's the nature of some champions. Some champions are more forgiving. Some champions are, aren't as forgiving. And yeah, Vladimir is definitely what I would call forgiving. Oh. Okay, power spike for me. New Seraphs. Okay, that's a really good play that my team just did. Two for one, two for three for one. Nice. Can we do Baron? Hopefully we can do Baron. Lad will come, but I think we can deal with him all together. And he hasn't got Flash, remember, so I actually can wall him out. Did Nami get it? Yeah, she did. All right, Baron's nice. We got objective bounty for that as well. I'm not getting an anathemas. And rank main, six months of prime. Appreciate it massively. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, she was there. Repel. Too late. You're dead from the ignite. Oh, she w the wrong target. Ouch. To be fair, at least did misplay it. But, yeah. Where did Pike go? He knew I was in there the whole time. That was weird. Go, go kill Wukong. Oh, he's already cleared it. Jesus. Okay. Okay. What can we realistically do with this Baron? 
can we do anything? Oh, yeah, that's, that gives a shield now, so you actually should take them even if you're full health. Forgot about that. I think Trindamir should beat that Camille pretty much. Like you can see, she's buying armor now because she's probably worried about dying in the 1v1. This game is winnable-ish. Yeah, I'd say it's winnable-ish. Oh, 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 oh. Gilla, gilla, go, 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 go. Add cocoon. I'm actually going to use that. We should take a fight. They're all split up. Oh my god, I hate this champion so much! Such a stupid champion. I'm dead. I hate Vladimir so much. He's the, one of the least skilled champions in the game. He's so forgiving. Because Riot has such a weird obsession with healing. Oh, I really don't get what why vladimir is just so stupid in that world played that well i would not say that vladimir played that well he played that just like vladimir Ugh. he has two complete items and he can do that where we need like morello back the 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 actual de um designer morello he was the only developer in League that actually knew healing was a slight problem and he actually worked against making it really a problem. Ever since he's gone, healing has just been insane again. It's so irritating. What? She cocooned the wrong thing. Like, if we just keep fighting... Oh, if you just keep fighting now, you're just going to snowball and just keep feeding. I'm very frustrated. Again, don't get me wrong. I'm happy already being diamond and stuff. That's good. But, like... It's very annoying. What the hell? Should play Vlad this season? I probably will. He's stupidly strong. Has been for a while. I just don't like how forgiving a lot of champions are. That's my biggest frustration a lot of the time. You can play bla bad on Vlad, but still end up really fed. Is it in the 2023 cinematic? Yeah, it wasn't very good. No. Oh, that was a good wall. I'm alive! Oh, that was a good wall. I separated me and the Wukong. Oh god, they're doing Baron. I mean, if we get Baron, great, but Vladimir could maybe just go in there and kill everybody. Let's hope that he's not about. Okay, we get it. Nice.
I can hear Maya's barking. I think Queen Pleb told me that she was going to try and sneak a shower in the middle of the day and put Maya in her crate while she's having a shower. So she's probably in her crate at the moment. Again, obviously, eventually she won't go in crates for showers and stuff like that. It's just in her puppy stage, she's a... Uh, Let's just say she's a bit adventurous with certain biting things we don't want her to bite. And she'll grow out of that, obviously. That was the wrong way. Okay. Oh, go on. Go on. No, he's not dead. He's dead. Oh, I need to get there. That's here. I nearly killed him. Oh, my God. Why is there so many vision things? What the hell? What the hell is going on? Did you see all of them? Oh. Oh. What? How did he go through that wall? Oh, that's bad. I think the wall play tilted me a bit. He phased through the wall. He phased through my wall. Are you serious? Why? Is there a bug or something? I don't understand why they have so many vision things. It's weird. Right click turn the mirror. Right click. Oh, it ran out. Man. Wait, what? Did Camille TP above? Oh, she must have TP'd above. Yeah, I guess it's Umbral or Zombie Ward or something. It's crazy. Well, this is definitely my worst game so far this season, but we played well in the early game. I just got Mega Camp. Oh, well. I'll upload it. As I said, I'm uploading every single placement game. This was definitely my worst game. We played well early, but I just got camped like mad. And I couldn't deal with the camping as one of Nivia's one of well, it's one of her biggest weaknesses. It's getting absolutely camped because she can't deal with it. Hey, Ace. Oh, that's annoying. Because we, dude, we got such good solo kills on Vladimir early, like really good solo kills. But ultimately, it didn't matter, which sucks. It really sucks. Oh, well, I think I'll probably play some Vladimir myself again that champion and then, you know I probably sounded salty in this game about it. I haven't actually been salty in massively in League in quite a while But one of my biggest pet peeves with League of Legends at the moment is there's so much for like forgiving stuff Like too forgiving and it really irritates me It really irritates me but anyway, we went 5, 10, 8, 25,000 damage on Anivia. If maybe the Wukong didn't help the Vlad as much or something, we would have been fine. But alas, 
it happened. But anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, that is going to be the end of this play session. I'll probably come back later and complete the, uh, the placements. Do throw a like on it, even though this was an annoying game. Definitely my worst game so far. Throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Crawl down the road.